Guys, welcome to the video on the best graphic settings of The Division 2. Now this is going to be a really, really quick video, um, because why not? You guys want to get the graphic settings, you want to play the game. Found out that's what it's all about. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, we're going to go settings, we're going to go down to video, we're going to put this on full screen, you're going to put it to whatever your monitor goes to, 3840 by 2160, but I have mine in 1080p because I'm a boss. Because it doesn't run into, well, it does run into 40 hertz at uh, 4K, but um, whatever. Anyway, yeah, so you're going to put your monitor into what you want, then you're going to go into graphics. You're going to set the graphics quality to custom. Brightness on 10, 15 contrast. On this game, I do recommend having VSIC on. Frame rate limiter off. Uh, shadow quality is now a go. Hate shadows, so uh, this is unusual for me. So we want this on high. Uh, spot shadows you want that on medium spot shadow resolution you want that on high you want uh, contact shadows all low resolution scale obviously a hundred percent sharpening zero seven why well, why would we say zero seven seven uh, particle detail high vet uh, volumetric fog I would recommend having this off uh, but I've got mine on medium because I, I like to run it but uh, there's some uh, like scenes and um, locations which is really, really foggy and this does help a lot uh, reflection quality have this on high it makes the game look so much better same with local reflection quality even have this on very high if you can run this uh, if not you want to have this on at least high backup request. vegetation quality you want this on medium or low if you possibly can if you're not too bothered about what the trees and that look like uh, subsurface scattering on uh, astronom uh, ast oh my god I can't say that word uh, anistropic there we go anistropic yeah whatever uh, times 8 or times 4 depending on if you've got a 1050 or above uh, sorry 1060 or above you want it on times 8 if you've got below 1060 uh, times 4 parallax par parallax oh my god I can't speak today uh, mapping you want that on yes ambient occlusion you want that on uh, high uh, depth of field on object detail I would recommend doing this putting this up it looks a lot better if you put it to like 70 80 uh, if you can't run that high go down to 60 I found this is a really nice balance to keep at least 60 frames per second on the game extra stream and distance uh, I don't know what that does but I left mine on 10 lens flare 100% on makes the game look 100% better uh, whatever that says effect uh, you want that on Water quality, I recommend this on low because uh, it does does take up a lot of graphics power. Like I mean, a lot. Uh, but again, it looks amazing on high. Uh, but if you can't run high, then at least try go for medium if you can. Uh, chromatic aberration, uh, you want that on on. Project, oh my god, projected textures. How many is there to this? There's a lot of settings. I feel like I haven't been through this many. Projected texture resolution. Uh, 5.12 right and honestly I'm going to be honest with you guys don't know what that means so projected maybe it's like objects that fly at you uh, high resolution sky textures 100% yes guys put this on yes you want the sky looking beautiful when you're playing this game you don't want it to be like some square blocks some square clouds no you want it on yes okay and terrain quality I do recommend having this on high. It just makes like everything, everything look so much better. Uh, so literally, I'm just going to go up to the top now. And if you guys are watching the video, uh, you can just see what it is like, what my settings are on. Uh, just so you go through. So I'll go down at a decent pace. Um, just so you guys get 100% accuracy. So there's the first five on the screen. Um, but yeah, guys, this game so far, I've not really played much of it. I've just been finding the best settings for it. I find it really, really interesting. I've always loved the division. Um, and the game so far has been playing amazing. The graphics look amazing in this game. Uh, there's a lot of cool little storylines. I've found a lot of cool guns already, and I'm only level 2, I think. So I've got a long way to go yet. Uh, but hopefully this lives up to its expectations of Division 1. Uh, maybe even better. I'm expecting better. Um, but we'll see. 
as the time passes. If you want more videos on Division 2, please leave a like and a comment if you want. And also, as I say in every graphics settings video I do, if you have any settings that are either better or run smoother, please don't hesitate to comment, comment them, and I'll pin your comment if I find them uh, helpful on my um, my computer also if you guys want to share your pc specs down below like in every of my graphics videos if you go on some of them you can you know collaborate with people yes, talk to people about your computers what you can improve what you can't improve uh what's better to buy etc feel free to comment down below uh, i'm trying to make a community on um computers and all sorts of stuff like that so if you guys are interested in that make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next graphics settings video Peace out, guys.